Hello everyone, my name is Harley and welcome to Trans by Death. This week's topic, we're going to be talking about the US military's ban on transgenders. Um, in case you haven't noticed, or um, there was a post, an article that was posted recently about a week ago, um, and we, we, we shared it on our Facebook page as well, but it, it really raises the question, why was there a ban in the beginning for transgenders and why is it still there? Um, so. You know, and I'm going to be kind of elaborating here, um, you know, perspective of being transgender, but I have not been in the military. Um, so I don't have that first hand, but I have talked to some people in the past and I actually, you know, I knew a few people that got discharged for being transgender. Um, in, uh, before there used to be a don't ask, don't tell policy for, um, people who were gay. If you were gay, you could not say, hey, I'm gay without getting discharged. And, you know, there was, you know, some high ranking officers that made a statement and, uh, you know, pretty much came out with them being gay on national television before. And, you know, then they get discharged. And uh, the thing is, it's kind of it, that that bothers me a lot, you know, because it's these people are fighting for um, the freedom and one of those freedoms is freedom of speech and yet they cannot say I'm gay and or transgender now it's like it's like whoa you know it's it's kind of like an oxymoron almost or like a, uh, a hypocritical situation there um, the thing is so that don't ask don't tell has been no longer effective and so however we forget you know, in the LGBT, there is still the T there, you know, so um, there is still a transgender ban in the U.S. military. Um, now, the questions are like, why was it there? And, you know, so one of the article raises is like, you know, looking back, there wasn't really any ground foundation of why there was a ban there. There was no reason. Any. And, you know, there were several cases, you know, that kind of went through through court and stuff but one of the main concerns um, is the fact that it was considered being transsexual was considered a disorder um, that was true was true because in the DSM the diagnostic statistical method or the diagnostic statistical manual of mental disorders which is you know the from the associate uh, the associate uh, American Psychiatric Association um, originally had gender identity disorder as a diagnostics a diagnosis for transsexuals. Um, it's no longer like that anymore. It's actually in 2013 they revised the version to DSM-5, which no longer has the disorder but now has gender dysphoria, and it's moved from a disorder to just a mental condition, which is. You know, any like little things are conditions. You know, it's not, you know, an issue. You know, so um, some of the things, you know, like a disorder is almost, and I'm gonna dumb it down for you, but a disorder is like something that prevents you from doing day to day stuff. You know, like carrying out tasks and stuff. It it prevents you. See, being transsexual does not prevent you from doing things. You know, um, so it's. It's, it's kind of like, it's really not a disorder. And, and so it's good that, that now it's been moved to a mental condition because it, it really is just a result from, you know, gender dysphoria is just a result of having your gender identity and your, um, you know, physical anatomy not matching correctly. Um, so it's just like a result, a condition, you know, so it's not bad. Um, so now that that has actually been removed from a disorder it's like now why why is it still why is the ban still there and you know it's not going to be brought up unless someone actually brings it up and so it's it's really interesting so this is a really good little hit you know of like saying well why is it still there um the thing is another concern like another thing and this is kind of going beyond the article but um you know, in the military, you, you hear people having a lot of stress and, you know, there is a lot of stress in there in the military. And, 
some things, um, everyone deals with stress, obviously. And one of the things is, you know, being in the closet can build up on stress. Um, because you're not being the person you are, you're being someone who isn't, and you can build up stress. But everyone deal has stress. So it's not like, oh, because they're building up stress, they're in danger or anything like that. It's just... It really, it really depends on the person, you know, it really does. Um, you know, a lot of people can handle a lot of high stress and then some people just can't handle stress, you know, so it really does depend on the person. Um, but if the ban wasn't, if the ban isn't there for transgenders, you know, then those people who are in the military and are in the closet, they can at least release themselves and not be as stressed before, you know? and don't have to worry about that but i think the arguments go go on like well you just get them out to begin with it's like you know there's a lot of bullshit bullshit and bullshit it's it's it really is there's just you know i mean there's been excuses being used about stress and i'm not going to go into that you know well i could but I'm not, you know, of using that as an excuse of why certain actions happen. Um, I don't like that personally because I feel it's all, like I said, I feel it's all based on the person. Um, just because of one action happened doesn't mean everyone else it's going to happen at, you know. So um, I, I don't like the politics proving strategy. They always prove by example and you can't do that. You can only disprove by example. Um, so that's something to note. So, I mean, uh, anyways, you know, check it out, see what you think about the article. Um, it definitely raises some issues. It's, it's kind of like, you know, it, it does raise the question why, you know, and you know, there's already, you know, transgenders that are in the military that are in the closet right now, you know, and, you know, they're saving people's lives, they're fighting for freedom, they're doing the same thing that anyone else would do, there's nothing different, you know, there really isn't, you know, just their gender is different, that's, that's really what it is, and, and to pretty much target people because of that, and saying that, oh, they're incapable of fighting for our country, or even working to fight for a country or working to strengthen the military it's it's like it's bullshit you know it really is um, you know um, I mean I'm gonna be honest me coming out you know um, and working my life working as a female it's it's been fantastic it's been one less thing and now I can actually focus more I mean you don't understand like me like I didn't realize how much of a mental block I had on really focusing until I came out full time and living full time as a female because now it's like I can literally read books and understand it and like understand like I, I'm I'm in more of an IT profession you know um, computer science and a lot of times I you know read read and read and sometimes it's hard to understand it. I have to continue to read but now that I didn't realize how much of a mental block it was until now that it's there I can actually focus better and it actually might actually help those individuals that may have the same issue that I've had until you know coming out so um, they might be able to focus better you know on what they're doing in the military because it's it is a career it is their job so um, one less thing to worry about, I would say. Um, so, uh, what do you think? You know. <laughs> Anyways, like us on Facebook. You know. All right, I'll end it with this. Bye. <laughs>